it's a beautiful end to a nice day. I've been hanging out with Ben from Fully Charged and his son Wolf. <laughs> Staying warm. And we're looking at a couple of really wonderful bikes today from Mustache. And actually just right down the store from, right down the block from your shop right there, Fully Charged. Okay. Um, it's interesting that you have two of these in stock and they're both the 26.1. So this is the Lundy 26.1, is that right? Exactly, the entry level. The entry level. And yeah. you know, the price on this one's a little bit more approachable. It's 23.99 pounds. That's about 33.50 in US dollars. So 3,000, a little bit, up, little bit above 3,000 if I'm doing that conversion right. Is that, is it, you know, do you carry it because it's a little bit more affordable or is it the comfort aspect? It's, it's probably the most comfortable e-bike we sell and um, in London it's, <laughs> it's, it's great and um, we have quite a lot more in stock because these sell out immediately from Moustache and um, so we have to carry a lot because later on in the season they're unavailable. Well and the colors are really nice I noticed there's this black and then you've got this a creamy green and you said there's one more like a white uh, there's a white there's a gunmetal gray there's a red and there's a petrol as well okay i reviewed a mustache lundy just 26 at propel bikes in new york a year or two ago i uh, was really impressed with the geometry you know you've got these backward sweeping handlebars and that deep step through kind of a wave frame i think the one that I looked at had the performance line yeah. motor, whereas these have the new active line plus. Exactly, and then the uh, three models up include the new Vinci and the Alfine and the 10 speed come as standard with the performance. Whereas this one, we're just looking at a, a nine speed, that's Shimano Acera shifter. And then back here, we've got Altus. So, you know, that's, it's more of an entry level derailleur, but to have nine speeds is not bad for a, for a city bike, especially with this active line plus motor. It's a little bit more efficient. It puts out up to 50 Newton meters of peak torque compared to the performance line, which is closer to 63. This one's quieter, it's smoother. It's also lighter weight. So about 7.05 pounds versus 8.8, .8, almost nine pounds. And I'm sorry, I can't do the conversions on the fly, but I'll have all those details back at the, back at the site for people. Um, the other thing is these bikes are using a lighter weight battery. So this is, it's the the Bosch Power Pack 300, yeah, versus the 400. I've never seen the 300 in the U.S. Usually we have the 400 or the 500 now. So 300 is pretty cool. A little bit lighter weight on that battery too, 5.6 pounds versus maybe closer to six uh, on, on the larger packs. And it's rack mounted. I think they're interchangeable. Certainly the charger is. This is a four amp charger from Bosch. One of my favorites. Relatively lightweight, compact, and you can see that this one has. Is that unique for the UK or is that more of a, a, a European standard, this plug right here? Uh, so basically that plug can really easily just come out here and then that's just a standard figure of eight. So that oh. can be put into any You can um, swap that for, like yeah, like the US yeah. charger. It's just neat, you know, it's, I'm coming from a, you know, a different location looking at these bikes. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna jump into the stats now. I'm just gonna try to knock some stuff out. It is a little bit cold and I'm, I wanna think of that little guy here. Things that I really like about this bike are First of all, that it's got this nice chain cover, okay? It's, it's really light. It's also pretty durable. It's not the kind that's gonna get bent or rusty like a steel fender. Same thing with the, the fenders here. These are aluminum alloy and Mustache does a really good job. They're sort of these tubular designs that don't rattle around a whole lot. They're paint match. They look really, really nice. And you can start to see it. See the tire reflecting right there? These bikes have integrated lights. So I'm gonna turn on the display. Always backlit, this is the in Tuvia display, it does have a micro USB port on the side. I really appreciate that. If you wanted to mount your phone or just charge something on the go, a GPS, you could swap this out for the Nyon if you're in Europe and it's a color display, has GPS and heart rate monitor, a bunch of other cool stuff. But the Intuvia is, is a nice platform. This is also removable. So if you're parking outside, it's a bit more protected. And then the control pad is within reach of your hand. So you don't have to reach over while you're riding. Really like that. And the buttons are very tactile. They're very consistent. Uh, and then there's this light button here. So when I press that, you see down there, it kind of lights up our way a little bit. However, when I steer the bike, the light does not steer because it's built right into that head tube. Okay, so that's something I think about a little bit. Uh, not, a, not a huge complaint. I think it's a very neat style, neat design. And I love that they also have an integrated light in the rear. So what I'm trying to say is you get a lot of safety and you get the utility of staying clean, staying dry, being seen. And then again, those tires from the side, really beautiful. The rims, they have reinforcement eyelets right here. So they're a little bit sturdier. 
And then these tires are a big upgrade. This is a Schwabi Fat Frank. They have K-Guard, which is sort of a puncture protective lining built in, so you shouldn't have flats quite as frequently. If you do, they have quick release on uh, both wheels, so you can easily service them. These are just standard, you know, 9.8 millimeter uh, skewers. 100 millimeter dropout width on the front, 135 in the rear, just very classic standard hardware that I'm used to seeing. 160 millimeter hydraulic disc brake in the rear, 180 up front, so you're getting plenty of stopping power. The bike is a little bit, uh, a little bit heavier because it has all of these, these accessories and additions, including a frame lock right here. So this is a, an AXA Solid Plus. This uses the same key as the battery. It's nice when those match like that. And you could potentially mount an additional lock right here on the base of that, that down to, I love that. Maybe even a bottle cage adapter if you wanted to. There, there are no other bosses here. It keeps that really clean. And sometimes if you do mount a cage here, you bump it when you're getting on and off the bike. And for me, that's the big selling feature of this bike. You don't have to lift your leg very high if you have a sensitive knee or hips. And then again, those handlebars just come right back to you. You've got these ergonomic locking grips, a little bell, the control pad, the display is right there, easy to see. And those hydraulic brakes, they have adjustable reach levers. So if you're someone who's wearing gloves, because it's really kind of cold right now, we're getting into the evening, you can reach those brake levers and see how close that one comes. It's been adjusted so it gets, it gets really close versus having to kind of squeeze really far out. I like that. There's a lot to appreciate about these bikes. Coming back to comfort for a moment, this is a rigid alloy fork. Okay, and there's no other suspension element on this bike. You're really just relying on the tires, that upright body position, and maybe the comfortable saddle. But the tires, they are 2.35 uh, width, so they're definitely wider, and they're 26, so that brings the bike down closer to the ground. It lowers that standover height. That's something that makes a big difference. A lot of the other city bikes we see have the 700C, like larger diameter wheels, and that raises the whole bike. The, the fatness of these tires like also gives you some stability. So it's comfort, it's stability, upright. You were telling me this is, this is your most comfortable bike. Yeah, indeed, yeah. And the, um, the tires are great for going off the chosen path slightly and basically having the capability to go down like canal pass and all that kind of stuff, um, even through fields. So it does open the uh, opportunities with it. Um, one further thing that's really great about this bike is the fact it's one size fits all. So if you were buying one for the household, anyone from five foot to kind of six foot four can literally ride it because um, of the way that the handlebars are set up. That's an interesting point. Yeah, there's, there's only one frame size. So that possibly keeps the bike a little bit more affordable. And I just want to point out again, we do have this other color so you can see the fenders being paint matched and then that little casing around the motor here, the Active Line Plus, just very quiet. It also uses a standard size chain ring. You can't really see it from the other side, but you can pedal backwards and actually service the drivetrain more like a traditional bike. Whereas a lot of the Bosch motors, you just spin backwards and the chain, it only goes in one direction. So that was a, a cool thing for me. And then a moment ago, I was talking about weight. And, you know, when you've got your hands full and you're trying to position a bike, let's pretend you have a rack on the back. I noticed this has like the Ortlieb, uh, is that the Q3? That's the exclusive moustache panniers. Um, oh. And they are quick release and they are heat sealed and they're amazing. Okay. And um, they're great. So you can take those plastic clips off yeah. and put your, your own panniers on if you want, but the moustache panniers are a really, really good product. That's a great shout out. Thank you. So yeah, you can use standard uh, clip-on panniers, but they've got their proprietary rack with uh, 25 kilograms. That's about 55 pound max weight. And talking about weight again, I just wanted to call out that uh, this bike weighs about 52.5 pounds. That's 23.8 kilograms. Not as heavy as I was expecting, considering it has uh, aluminum fenders. The you know. Nuvinci version, the 26.5, is slightly heavier because of the Nuvinci. But with the active lime and just standard nine speed, it's a really nice weight, actually. Yeah, this is this is wonderful. I think we're, we're going to get out there and ride, but I want to walk you through the battery real quick and the display. Okay, so the other cool thing about that frame lock I was talking about being key to like is that there's there's an insert here. So sometimes they have a chain or a cable that works with the, the AXA cafe lock. And then the battery, you just stick the key in over here, twist a little bit, tug on this thing. Relatively lightweight, easy to carry. I appreciate that it has an integrated handle so you don't drop it. And there it is, Power Pack 300. Just kind of neat to see that. Slides right back on like this and you sort of kind of push it in. Make sure you pull the key out like that so it, it locks. 
doesn't seem like it has the spring-loaded lock. You actually have to twist back and then pull out. Uh, and then the display panel up here, we left it on and actually has a, a little battery of its own that's built right in. So I think you can, you know, take it off and move it around if you want to, which is unique to Bosch. So again, I, I really like this display panel. By default, you see your uh, battery charge level up there, your assist level, your current speed, light. So we have the lights turned on right now, but it's really easy to turn them off and then reset for clearing your trip distance. The I button is uh, duplicated over here on the button pad, so I can click through this and go from trip time to range, and range is so cool because it's dynamic. If we arrow up to turbo, it says, oh, only six miles left. Our battery's getting a little bit low, and when it's really cold out, your battery's not gonna give you quite as much range. You wanna keep your batteries in a cool, dry location. Uh, avoid extreme temperatures if you can. So it's nice having a removable battery if you have to leave your bike outside at a bike rack. So anyway, I'm gonna arrow down a little bit here with the minus key. And eco mode, it says, oh, 14 miles. So there's great range here. Again, this is a very efficient motor. It's, it's really, it's emphasizing efficiency. And the bikes are set up right now for the European standards of 20, 25 kilometers 25 per hour. Bikes, yeah. um, but you know, the, the thing is, there's a different standard for the US. They can go a little bit faster. And so it's, it's territory specific and that's something you work with as well. Exactly. Yeah. So. Coming back to the display here for a second, we've got an odometer, we've got trip distance, we've got that clock, max speed, average speed. It's, it's all there. It's just really, really clean and accessible. Now might be a, a great chance to hop on these things and just ride around London for a bit. Does that sound good? Yeah, man, let's do it. Ben's gonna go get a pannier right now and show us the clip-on system. But I wanna highlight again how efficient the Bosch motors are. They measure your rear wheel speed pedal cadence and pedal tor torque a thousand times per second. So they're, they're very precise. And the harder you're pedaling, the more power you're gonna get back in addition to navigating through those different settings. The Active Line Plus motors, I think they only give you up to 105 RPM support, whereas the Performance Line, they're a little bit louder, zippier. They give you up to 120 RPM support. Not a huge deal, but that's something you might consider you know, when you're looking at the different levels here, again, we're on the 26.1 versus the three, five, or seven, which kind of have an upgraded motor. This is the uh, Pioneer. Yeah. And it literally just quick releases on, on like that. That's fantastic. Really, really nice and heat sealed as well. And really good, strong zip. It's gonna last forever. And then when you want to get to your location, take <laughs> it off, it's just boom. Oh, just pop it right off. Sorry, I was distracted. Can I see the back side of this? Sure. Pretty smooth too. Hey, so, um, we were talking about the different levels. There's the one, three, five, and seven. Exactly. And yeah. th all the other ones have the sort of the, <laughs> the upgraded performance, performance yeah. line motor. Yeah, with higher RPM support, more torque, 63 Newton meters versus 50. Um, yeah, and that's interesting. And the battery sizes change a little bit too. Uh, they're all with 400 um, and um, yeah. Those all have 400, whereas this has the 300. Yeah. So again, the big price difference. I hope that helps a little bit. I realize when you're comparing models back to back, it's not always obvious. They also have seat post suspension, so you get a little bit more comfort, um, possibly because you're having more zip and, and riding quicker. Why don't you lead on? We're just gonna go on a little tour here. Okay. It's getting Let's it set up. Put the lights on. <laughs> yeah. Wolfie, you can steer. That's right, he's got the... Let's cruise. I'll follow you. Wonderful. I'm going to show you guys the motor real quick while we're riding. It's very quiet. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where these batteries are hidden, especially if you have a pannier. And the motor is so compact, you can hardly see it behind the chain ring. Okay guys, from here you can see the chain a little bit and some of the shifting. Just listen for that motor. I'm gonna go over different surfaces and shift through the gears. I am gonna keep this in the highest level of assist turbo, which isn't nearly as zippy on the Active Line Plus, but still gives you, you know, plenty of power for climbing, especially if you shift through those gears appropriately.
quieter spot, so we came here to show the cobblestone. Just super quiet. I'm not hearing those fenders rattle at all. That's something that really differentiates mustache. I'm gonna go around this little circle here. A little bit of a climb going on. The key with mid-drive motors is you wanna shift gears a little bit to empower the motor for efficiency. And I really have not been shifting. I'm in the highest level right here. This is the ninth gear. It's slower starts and the motor struggles a little bit. One of the cool things about the Bosch motors is that they do have shift detection and uh, they try to ease back a little bit so you're not stressing that chain, the sprockets, the derailleur. I might shift through a little bit here. Pretty smooth. And now that I'm at a higher level of assist uh, and a lower gear, you can hear the motor more. Again, just really impressive. This is not the smoothest uh, sidewalk here. I'm bouncing around a little bit, but I'm not hearing those fenders too much. The occasionally a pebble will get kicked up and you'll hear it like tink, 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 but yeah, the, the fenders themselves, very sturdy. And then the, uh, the light is kind of interesting. So I'm turning and the light's a little bit out of alignment because it doesn't, it sort of follows you a little bit after you point in the right direction. But otherwise, you know, working really well. Big tires are also a little bit more steady, able to ride without hands like this. Um, kind of nice. Comfort, stability, it's something that might be important to you if you're just cruising around the neighborhood, having some fun. And Ben's back there taking care of Wolfie. Big, big thanks to him and his shop, uh, Fully Charged, for bringing me out to London and sharing some of the new bikes, getting us a glimpse of some of the European models. It's really special. Hey Ben, we're almost finished here. I was wondering if you could say anything else about the mustache team and you know when you started carrying them. I think they started in 2011, like a pair of friends or exactly, something. Exactly, yeah. So um, I first found them in 2013 um, at Eurobike and was blown away by what they were doing. Um, and I became their exclusive dealer in London, which I still am. And it's been such a journey. It's been amazing. And um, later on, we, we can show you the bike they just sent over for Wolf, and it was really touching. And all 50 members of the factory signed this box and sent it to me and said, when we first met you, you were just a kid. And now you've got a kid. Thanks for your support. And it was just beautiful. They're such a cool young team that are just dedicated to doing what they're doing, Bosch electric bikes. And That's right, all Bosch, yeah. Exactly. Their mountain bikes are insane as well. They're so good. And uh, they were the first people to integrate the um, the Bosch battery prior to the power tube. Um, so yeah, really, really, really great company to work with. That's fantastic, man.